Hey everybody, how you doing? I'm Rusty Nelson and welcome. This is Quick Tips at the Villages, so to speak. And this is where we kind of talk all about uh, just quick things that may help you out in the village, getting around the villages, anywhere from security cameras to putting up lights to golf cart things, all kinds of stuff. But today we are going to go over something that I use all the time, really. And unless you really kind of know where some of these things are, you're probably not going to know how to use them, but you also may find out there's some other ways to get information. And that's just about what it's about, information. We're going to talk about three basic things, three areas that I look at. Now, you don't have to belong to down here in the villages to get this information. So if you're looking at moving down here, this is a great way to see what's going on or see whether there's anything that's going on that you may want to be involved in. But also the last, uh, towards the last, towards the end, is something that I, I really like, and that's how to get pushed out notices and bulletins and all this kind of stuff from the villages. And you can kind of select what you want out of that, and then they automatically send it out. All these different types of newsletters and bulletins and all types of things. So thanks a lot for subscribing and liking. Really helps out the channel, and I really appreciate it. Let's kind of get started on the first one here. I'm going to go through these pretty quick, but you can always go back or freeze frame it or review it. And I'll put up the links here and I'll put the links down below. But by no means is this complete on the information that you can get from these sites type of thing. So if I've missed something that you think is really important, please put it down in the comments. I'm sure everybody would appreciate that. But the first one's a really easy one. And if you're looking down in the villages or you've bought a home in the villages, You're probably familiar with this, and this is thevillages.com. Now, most people look at this because they think it's a sales thing, which it is. Got some really great maps on it. But there's something in here, and that's if you go along the top bar here and you click on calendar. This is a great little way to see things that are going on around the villages and I kind of use this uh, since I'm I'm not really a snowbird because I come back and forth different times. Uh, I will be down in February. I'm pretty excited about that because I'll be down for an extended period of time this time. And who knows, now that I'm a Florida resident, I, I might stay down for a lot longer. But this is where you want to be. And on the top here, you can click on calendar. And if you look, there's a couple of bars right across the top here. And they say different types of events. So all types of events, arts and crafts, recreation, social clubs, special events, and sports. And then you can actually select it down into locations. And you can better narrow it even into dates. So if you want to look for something tomorrow. But what I do is, um, and, and then you can actually try to call up things in here where you can search search all events for certain keywords. But what I try to do is when I'm coming down to the villages, I'll start searching ahead of time and filling up my calendar with things that I want to do. So let's just take an example really quick. Let's say you're somebody that's interested in arts and crafts. Go ahead and click on that. And this is under all locations and all dates. And you can see different things uh, right here, arts and crafts, it's open. It's at Eisenhower on February 11th. Something that uh, is pretty good because a lot of these things, I found a lot of these things, you really got to kind of hunt them out to find out what's included under each of these. But if you look up here really quick before this goes away, right up on the top bar way up here, it says golf festival, save the date, February 16th and 17th, 10 a.m. to 3. So this bar that goes right across the top that keeps going along, let's see if I can make it move like that. There's a lot of information and main things that go up there. But let's say you want to do special events in all locations, and we'll go next 30, next 30 days, let's say. So here, here we go right away. If you are interested in golf, here's TaylorMade Stealth Product Launch, Farmer's Market, and let's see, right down here is a big one. The Villages Golf Festival is a pretty big thing where they have a lot of the golf people come in at the different uh, golf shops. So as you can see, it gives you an idea. What I wish they'd do is that you can print it out. Um, but 
you can share this event to yourself. You can kind of send it to yourself if you want. But as you can see, a lot of different uh, information here, and it gives the website. So you can actually click and go to the website, and a lot of times that'll expand on whatever it is. So that's basically it for this, and one thing that I checked. But as you can see, it's pretty useful. Let's, uh, let's go on to the next one. The next one a lot of people that live in the villages are fairly familiar with, and that is the newspaper, The Village's Daily Sun. And I actually get the newspaper, and you can subscribe through it right here. Go, go up to the top right here, and you can click through to it and subscribe to the actual physical newspaper. I kind of like getting the newspaper. It's part of my morning ritual when I get up my cup of coffee and sit down because I, I'll, I'll tell you what, one thing I've learned being at the villages, it's most of the time it's not planning what you're going to do. It's trying to make sure that you don't forget what you're supposed to be doing or what you planned on doing. So I actually use my Outlook calendar an awful lot down there. Uh, I also have a, a friend, Luann. Um, she, when I first got out here, she taught me that she actually takes and prints out each week. She has her pages laid out for her calendar so she doesn't forget stuff. But the Daily Sun's got a lot of information on it, and you can get the digital. You can go on and open up the digital site, and obviously there's, if you look on here, you have the news, top stories. Local news is a big thing, sports, lifestyle, when elections are full swing, you get into those. In-depth reports of certain things. Photos, videos, advertising. There's a section for classifieds. There's also down here the village's phone book. I'll click over to that really quick. Most people don't even know that this exists on here. And it's basically all commercial things, but you can just research it and, you know, kind of go look up things that you may want to take a look at, like if you're looking for a dentist or something like that. But the other thing that's really big on here is the Recreation and Parks publication. And click on this. Now, every Thursday this comes out and you will get a if you get the newspaper you'll get a physical copy of it you can go over to the rec centers and pick it up but this is great for information you can just click through it and you'll get all types of information anything you want on the areas and there's some big sections if you look down here about pickleball instruction pickleball ratings clinics that type of thing but it goes through all the rec centers and for each one goes over what exactly is happening along with a bunch of other stuff. If you look on here, if there's uh, register recreation events on um, line, register for events in the comfort of your home, that type of thing. Shows you how to do those. And so that's a big thing for the Village's Daily Sun. Now, like I said, I actually get the physical newspaper delivered to my house. One thing a lot of people don't understand is if you sign up, let's say you're there, not there, had there half the year, whatever. If you sign up, say, for a year and say you're not there for six months, you don't get charged for that six months because you just cancel it. You just tell them you want to stop delivery and then start it up on a certain date or you tell them later what date that is and then your subscription continues from there. So that's a lot. Daily Sun has a lot of information in it. Let's check out the next one really quick. Next one is the villages-news.com. Now, I'll tell you really quick. I'm not going to jump into this. You can thumb through this yourself. You can also subscribe to this and have it sent out to you. But the big thing is kind of like from, I'll say that the, the, the Villages Daily Sun is, I believe it's not owned directly anymore by the developer but it is kind of incestuous with that whole thing. And there's not a whole lot of, let's say, bad information on there. It's kind of guided, so to speak. But the villages-news-.com, you kind of get some more of those things. Like if you look up there, there's one little thing up here. It says crime. So that wasn't one of the headlines in the, in the Daily Sun. That's, that's about it there. Let's jump up to the next one. And this is actually the last one I'm going to go into. Like I said, if you have other information or you think things are valuable that I'm missing, please put them down in the comments because I'd like to learn and I'm sure other people like to learn. Let's get on to the last one here. I'm sorry. 
I totally lied to you. I almost forgot about this as I, as I was going through these. I'll just hit on this really quick. This is definitely something you want to thumb through because it's got a lot of cool information and stuff that can be sent out to you. And that's Talk of the Villages. It was established in 2006. It's not affiliated with the Villages or the developer or anything else. But is if you look at the top here, there is a newsletter. And the thing I get like getting every morning is right over here is the forum. So you can sign up for the forum and they kind of kick out the highlights for you. Uh, you know, the people that write in and there's the crew cast of regulars that are on there. But, you know, there's kind of a lot of good information that you kind of see pop in and out of there. Entertainment clubs, activity, calendar, real estate, homes for sale, houses for rent, realtors, golf carts, golf, you know, all, all types of stuff you can search on here. That's definitely a good one. And like I said, I really enjoy getting the highlights from the forum each morning. All right, now on to the next one, or actually the last one. Here we go. I'm telling you, don't shoot me. But as I keep going along here, I keep all of a sudden thinking about places that I get information from. And I think Ryan, guy that actually writes inside the bubble, a lot of you have heard me talk about it. He's got a book and all kinds of things on here. But he also has a newsletter that pops out every once in a while. And there's a lot of good information. This is his site. And this, once again, is not connected with the villages in any way. But if you look at all of my videos, I also have his link down on the bottom. I, every single one, I think, since almost the beginning. But the big thing is right here is besides all this information, cost of living, home sales, all that kind of stuff, is the free newsletter. And I really enjoy getting that. So definitely something you want to jump over to and sign up for without a doubt. And then also, if you're looking at coming down the villages, he's got a great book. And then I think he's offering or just started some kind of master class on learning about the villages. I, I swear to you, this is going to be the, the next one's the last one. <laughs> Yep, this is really honestly the last one, I hope, unless I, I think of something else. I'm really cracking up about myself here. But there there is so much, so much information to kind of digest that it can get kind of hectic sometimes. So you have to run through each one of these and kind of pick out what you want. You'll start focusing on where you want to look at the newspaper or magazines or whatever. But this one's a this one's a big one because there's a lot of information you can find out here and this is districtgov.org and this is the villages community development districts information page. When you land here, this is exactly what you're going to see. This is their home page. And you've heard me talk about this, I think, on the last video I did. There's a bunch of information about this. Information about all the different districts and, and that type of thing. We're kind of talking more about news. Um, all kinds of stuff here. The departments. We talked about the community standards on the last one. All types of information here. You can go to recreation. There's a lot of stuff on here about recreation and pickleball and uh, how do I, different things about utility bills and all that kind of stuff and useful links. But there is one thing that's actually kind of cool where you can get information pushed out that you actually want. And if you come over here on the left-hand side, you'll see this and it's always floating over here on the left-hand side. And it says, sign up for e-notifications. And when you click on that, we're going to kind of move this up a little bit here. When you click on that, there is where you can fill this out. You put this in, fill this information out. And you put your email address, obviously. And then you can select what type of information you want to receive. Now, I think this is really cool. And I get it all the time. So let's take a look at what there is in here. Uh, district and committee information. So there's stuff in here about amenity authority, the uh, architectural review. You get information on each one of the districts. Now, I am in Wildwood Utility Development District. So it depends on, you know, what you can select what area you're in. 
And solicitations is from construction, janitorial, general, that type of thing. Precautionary boil water notifications, that's kind of important. You know, you want to know about that type of thing and you'll you'll get email about that. Schedule updates and closings. This is if you're a big golfer and you want to keep track of executive courses, recreation centers, that type of thing. Street closures, also public safety, general information, and recreation information on the leagues when they pop up, tournaments that they're having, lifestyle events. You can, like I said, you can kind of select what you want. But the big one right here is the District Weekly Bulletin. That's the one I, I definitely have checked off and I like getting. Also, if you're looking for jobs, employment opportunity for the villages. Now, that's it. That's, that's, a, that's a really good one. It's a really big one. You can learn so much from this website. It's incredible. And so sign up for each one of those and you're going to be a wealth of information. There's a bunch of stuff on there. There's also, I think, one back a little bit further that was actually the Villages magazine. I forget which site that's on, but you can also get that if you don't, you know, if you're living outside of the villages and you're not a uh, participant living in the villages yet, you can get that sent to you digitally or look at it digitally, not sent to you, but look at it digitally. Anyway, that's it. I really hope that this is kind of help people get in the swing of things and get information so you don't feel left behind. The other way you can get information that's really good too is... If you live in certain areas, like I live in, in St. Catharines, and there's a St. Catharines um, uh, Facebook page, and a lot of information comes out on that. And then also, I live in the village of Peyton. So there's we have our own little kind of Facebook page on there. And then there's also Neighbor, which you can sign up for that. Anyway, thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. And I need to appreciate it more. If you just take a second to subscribe, it really helps out. And also smash that like button. That's definitely a big help. And like I always say, I will either see you down in the villages, which I can't wait another week and I'll start my trek down there and our, or I'll see you back here on YouTube. Thanks a lot so much for watching. Really appreciate it. And I hope this helped you out. Have a great day.